Here's the thermostat switch. It looks like this. It says temperature controller for voltages between 100 and 250 volts AC, European frequency and US frequency. Maximum load is 3600 watts. Temperature range is minus 40 degrees Celsius to 120 degrees Celsius. That is for the sensor. Accuracy plus minus 1%. And let's see how to use it. I have a lamp here, just a simple lamp. Here's the adapter of the lamp. We have to plug in that one here and the 220 volts AC. So first let's make sure the lamp is powered on. So from the switch it must be powered on. Now it's off and now it's on. I'll leave it this way because otherwise power cannot be sent from the adapter to the lamp itself. Now power the thermostat itself, digital thermostat. It looks like this. It says measured temperature 20 degrees Celsius, 20.4. That is of this sensor, so if I put my hand on it, then this number will get higher. As you can see, it overshoots it's still increasing, there is still some heat from my finger inside that sensor and then it drops slowly, more or less slowly. Come on sensor, cool down. That's the on temperature and that's the off temperature. Went to give power to this socket and went to turn off power from this socket. It has mode set up and down buttons. Mode is showing different things. But we are using the first one, which shows the current temperature, start temperature and stop temperature. Okay, now let's plug it in. Nothing happens. So let's say I want to start the lamp at a lower temperature. So I have to modify the on. To go there, press the set button. Okay, and up and down. So let's put the on temperature, it turned on, once again set, it has to flash and then it's adjustable, put the on temperature to let's say 20, you can hold it down also, 21 degrees, go to the next one using the set button and turn off the lamp at a higher temperature. And it turned off 21 degrees and 22. You don't have to press anything, it will accept it. So it turns on at 21 degrees and turns off at 22 degrees. Currently is lower than 21, 20.6, 20 that's why it's on. So which temperature is lower than the on temperature, in that zone it's on. And if this one gets higher than this one, then it's turning the lamp off. So now if I heat the sensor, temperature will go up. And at 22 it should stop. Yes, it stopped. I also dropped it to let it cool down because temperature rises. It went up to 24 degrees. Now I have to wait until it drops to 21 and only then it will power on the lamp. You can use a smaller difference between them and then it should turn on and off faster. You have to wait quite a lot until it cools down. Now the sensor is lower because at lower heights the temperature is lower and thus it cools down faster and at 21 degrees Celsius it should power on the lamp. Just a second. And yes, it is on because it reached the temperature of the room dropped below 21 degrees Celsius. Currently it's at 20.8. Now let's use a higher temperature. Let's make it power on at, let's say 30 degrees. Ooh, too much. Go to the next one with the set and power off at, let's say 29.9. Press the up button to increase the temperature, oh, too much, 29.9. So currently we have 20 degrees Celsius 
and I have to heat up this sensor heat rises, you can see the top number 23, 24, okay when it reaches to 30 it should power on the lamp I'm removing my hand now it stops much quicker and it's even dropping I have to heat it 30 degrees Celsius, lamp is on it went a little bit higher, 30.1 and it cooled down and thus it turned off heat it again and it should power on now let it cool down just a little bit one more and it powers off more heat ah, just a little bit more by the way I think the top is more sensitive not the bottom on my tongue it should be warmer temperature is dropping, the lamp is turning off you can reverse those two numbers so it will power off if the heat is too high so let's set this one to 29 and the other one to 30 and now if I heat it up now when it reaches 30 degrees Celsius then it powers off it's off, I'm not heating it anymore let it cool down and when the temperature drops to 29.9 it powers on so now it's on at lower temperatures and it's off at higher temperatures this is the equivalent of an electric heater so you need to power off the heater if the temperature is too high in the room temperature let's say in the room is increasing let's say it's enough then power it off so it will not overheat the room when the temperature of the room drops the sensor feels that lower temperature and it powers on the heater if you reverse the two numbers then you can use it let's say for air conditioning when the temperature is too high then to turn on the AC when the temperature is low then to turn off the AC by the way, if I remove it and power is interrupted, at least for a while, it remembers the settings. 29.9 and 30 is there. So that's this programmable electronic digital thermostat switch. The cable is pretty long, around a meter. 